ever. And he's been absolutely decimating this tournament and has been going really well in his favor. Now let's see if he can try and like, go up against John Numbers' Wii Fit, which we already see an amazing start from Numbers getting a, a great clean 29% off, of, uh, off of C. But you know, these Palumares and Upairs are not going to be easy for Numbers to combat. Right, no, C has been just on a tear this entire bracket tonight and already showing why. Getting 81% on John Numbers right now. John finding his space on the ledge, but already getting pushed right back up to the platform. I love the shield movement by John. Uh, really covering all his angles, because we've seen before, C loves to go for those neutral air shield pokes, and in the past, that's, that's led, him, led him to a kill. Great usage of the side B to catch C's uh, teleport cancel. You know, that's something Palutena's love to do. It's a oh. great, quick move. First option. And that deep breathe uh, for so I think I take that first off from C. And John Numbers, honestly, still that pretty dangerous percentage for himself, 147%. And we fit, you know, once she does that deep breathing, she's a little bit more dangerous. And But that back air, that falling back air, definitely gonna take it for C. And both players pretty much bright at, as if the game never even uh, started. Yeah, no, that uh, Palu back air just invincibility -ing through the soccer ball. And that was a great uh, reverse neutral air by C to further use the battlefield platforms to extend his combo. Already getting 84 unanswered by John Numbers so far. Great parry into the down air, looking to maybe close things out right now. John Numbers now able to play oh. the game himself. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a, minute, a good amount of percent off of this, that, that little ledge, uh, ledge play he did with the up tilt right there. But you know, uh, Numbers is going to have to kind of change up his style a little bit. He's been doing a little bit less of like, the, the usual ledge play that we typically see from Numbers for past lots of Xenos. And doing a little bit more of aggressive uh, approach against C's Palu. And I wonder if that should simply just match up or if he's maybe stretching up a little bit on us. Well, another call out for the uh, teleport cancels. Uh, but John Numbers now at 160 has to play so careful around C at ledge, but another header from ledge is going to catch him a neutral air, losing him his second stock. I really like what C did there with the teleport cancel because he's been called out for it twice. So that time, when he did the teleport cancel, he actually jumped afterwards to avoid any sort of hitbox that John Numbers threw out. Yeah, I just want to see some more of a some more C. You know, I want him to really close up the stock for for himself. And Numbers also has really just has to kind of pick it up a little bit. This is of course the first game. Numbers is pretty pretty known for uh, if he if he, if he flubs the first game, he kind of is using that as an opportunity to learn how to kind of counter his opponent. And you know, oh, that was an amazing back air. No, to avoid the soccer ball from Numbers and using it as an opportunity to gain some more percentage on himself. But Numbers getting that forward to off, the, off, of that, uh, off of that recovery and a little bit of healing from sensitizations. Right, and like you said, John Numbers no slouch when it comes to adaptation. So let's see if he can maybe start... You know, we're already seeing signs of life from John Numbers, but another up air from C is going to be taking it for game one. You said season. signs of life? I'm sorry. Where? I misspoke. The, li the life in question. Man's got sent back to the casket. Like <laughs> She's flatlining. She's flatlining. Help! <laughs> I'm going to hood up a little. I'm, I'm, my neck is cold. Oh. I got long hair. Can't relate. Must be nice. <laughs> Ooh, Snake Eater? Hell yeah, that's a music counter pick I love to hear. Even though it's kind of a weird, like, MIDI version of it. Oh no, I hate the MIDI versions of a lot of the songs in Smash. Uh, <coughs> Dragon Quest. Oh, uh, don't. Let me get me started. Don't <laughs> even get me started, but we can get started on this next match. Uh, game two, a pr it was a really quick game one uh, from C. Doing an amazing job at keeping himself, uh, keeping a stack with uh, with numbers, honestly, because numbers is such a patient player. It has to be really mentally, it's mentally taxing to go, not even just best of best of three with him, like like let alone best of three. Absolutely. All right, Jack's Good. coming in. Just a grab. Now, John numbers gets the pressure of the platforms. Like C got to do so much in that game one. All right, now we're seeing John Numbers getting back and comfortable in that uh, at that ledge that he loved so much. All right, looking to two frame with the header, looking for maybe a spike, mm -hmm. but not finding it. Not quite finding it, but he is finding himself in a little bit more of an advantage than last time. You know, he's he's kind of going back to his uh, his ledge um, antics, where he's going to be using charging sun, sun citation and also getting deep breathing as much as he can in order to kind of combat a lot of C's aggressive uh, aggressive playstyle. You know, C is unafraid. And in, uh, in coming in that close to John Numbers, but that fourth is going to take it. I think that was deep breathing back, back throw. throw, yeah. 
Yeah, the uh, the the hula hoops actually put uh, like two frame C's teleport and put him in just an awkward situation where John Numbers was able to win out that scramble and get the back throw for it. Ooh, reads the tech roll or reacts to the tech roll rather. Already almost lapping C in er, in percent right now. Yeah, this is it. Almost almost, almost like a change a shift in a shift in some from game one. Where numbers was kind of kind of at the stock deficit the entire time, but see, it's slowly starting to make that a complete reversal for himself. If he's not able to close out the stock from numbers right now, and ooh, that oh, I oh, he's so worried with uh with um we fit recovery and how long it will last. I've seen so many SDs from it so often. But it looks like we'll be taking a great placement on that on her on uh on C's part. Now we've seen John numbers actually uh not punish uh. Sees teleport cancels uh, the past two times, actually. Uh, after such a strong showing of being able to call those out, what are you just standing there? Just Goodness. waiting. <laughs> okay. Just completely threw me off my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, numbers. Is, I think is playing a very patient. Oh. Uh, he's not dead. Yeah, no, no, no. He has jumped still. Uh, but playing a very patient game, getting oh. a rapid jab. That's a long rapid jab. You got a call right at the beginning of that, and you're going to take all of it at once. All right, using that invisible dash attack to uh, really stuff any of John Numbers' ledge pressure. And C is going to be oh taking my gosh. John's second stock, bringing this right back to even after such a real dominant showing from John Numbers at the beginning of Game 2. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's amazing how uh, C was actually able to bring his pretty much back to neutral and almost in his favor. Uh, if he continues this, this momentum he has against John, he's using a lot of Palu's, uh, Palu's back air to kind of negate the soccer ball. And getting numbers off guard and off and where he likes to be, using it against him, and that might be it for numbers. No, Ooh, great! Just barely misses the down air, but that absolutely would have been it. Alright, not able to find the frame trap scenario with the up air. And now John Numbers gets to play, gets the parry, and now gets to play on the platforms himself. Oh, that was such a good drag down up tilt. Not gonna be doing it quite yet, but now you have to land against Palutena again. And I have to deal with Palutena on ledge, and it's, it's not fun at all. If she's able to get her back air in there, oh, I got so scared for a second. Uh, the air was, air was recovery scares me. I always think immediately that like, you're dead. Oh, oh not be able to get attack in that situation. situation. And another one. Good job, oh, the okay. soccer ball still there. Oh, this is so tense right now. Yeah, numbers has uh, see, adapted. You saw that? Oh my god. So Numbers has actually adapted to that and um, and was actually able to uh, use... God dang it. I want, I want to like look at it. Like I want to like really highlight it real fast on the last stock where uh, Numbers actually adapted from the first game where he had to deal with explosive, explosive flame right here, dumped right over it, knowing that that's C's typical action, avoids a dash attack and goes in for a back air. And something I do want to note is... Um, uh, oh, still sinking. Uh, what a, uh, John Numbers did the header right above the ledge and then just kind of stayed there, making it seem like he was going to drop to ledge, which C appropriately tried to respond to with a dash attack like he's been doing so much because, you know, it's so good at stuffing John's uh, ledge yep. options, but John was ready with the back air to punish him. Yeah, that was like a, uh, I, I love this. It's a completely, completely even game all throughout all the games. There's no, there hasn't been really one clear person in control. It's, it's been very much a uh, give and take, give and take the entire time. So I, I really want to see this last game kind of uh, highlight who is going to take control of, you know what, not even Center Stage, who is going to control the ledge? Because both characters, Palu and Wefit, are exceptional on the ledge if they're able to actually uh, use that to their advantage with their respective uh, attacks. Yep, and now John Numbers chilling at ledge right now. He's been doing a really good job of avoiding C's uh, edge guards, and I think C even realized it. We haven't seen C do like a runoff neutral air in quite a while. Just kidding. I'm funny. Uh, but, I mean, like I was saying before, John Numbers has been doing such a good job of playing around it. Great, so using the auto, oh, oh, And untackable, oh. you're super dead. I was about to compliment you, then you died. <laughs> it was really smart not using his plus plate right there instead of using the auto reticle, but the, then he just got destroyed. With some citations against the, t against the ledge. <laughs> just throwing out these tiny suns. Uh, really just frustrating to see a little bit. All right, gets tagged by the last hit of the auto reticle. 
and see just hasn't found a, oh. a ledge trap in a while, but finally getting that shield poke. And see, now we're playing a lot a lot of ledge game. And that this might take it? No, not quite. But that definitely there will. We go. I do agree with John Numbers really just sitting in shield there because I feel like at that position, he didn't really have to worry about any throws from C. Uh, Palutena just doesn't have those kill throws in forward, up, or down, and backdoor would have sent across the stage. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of none of it in this situation. They're trying to really capitalize on each other. Uh, grabbing, grabbing we fit right out of uh, her nair, that's funny. Yeah, Soccer Ball actually beating Palutena back air right there. Mm -hmm. I think it uh, hit before the the hitbox came out. Yeah. John Numbers' shield looking so low right now. Numbers has to be really careful keep continue, continuing to shoot on the ledge as, he, as, he, as, he's, as he's been doing. Catching that roll in, trying to mix up the recovery, but catching the roll in, possibly going to capitalize on it as much as he can. Yeah, no, John really, really just doing such a great job of drifting away. Uh, when C tries to go out for these uh, edge guards, and I really feel like not a single edge guard attempt by C has worked out for him yet. They've all just been either stuffed or whiffed completely, and Numbers was able to take center stage for it. Oh, another, oh my I gosh. love the way that John uh, angles his shield, not looking to get shield poked at all. Some salutation is on deck. Yeah, we have some citation, no deep breathing at the moment, but we might have to see, uh, oh, that's okay, the ball weird. is weird. Oh, oh, okay. Again, the ball is the third player, we've been new this, and <laughs> again, C not getting this was thing that kill that he's been looking for, but getting that go. dare kill as he should, using that pretty much uh, against numbers, who loves doing those, those kind of dare kills, and back here negating the sun citation, all right, but not that. <laughs> the sun citation negating all of auto reticle. Literally said, ah, I'm gonna go right here. <laughs> Yeah, see, now we're back in the same kind of situation we had in the second stock. Both characters, or both players actually, are kind of stuck in the ledge, so and this much. might be really dangerous for C. If he's not able to even this out right now, because Numbers and Sun Citation does so much damage with Deep Breathing active. Yeah, Numbers just barely missed time that down tilt, and C was able to get a uh, Nair Train started. Now threatening John off stage, but C going off stage once again and just getting stuffed for it. What? Uh huh? What? Backer killed the the deep breathing. There's from all the center stage. So they actually clanged. I believe that uh let me see right now. I believe yeah. They clanged. So uh Palu had done a forward air, I believe. Let's see. Oh no, it was back air. Yeah, it was just she did back air back and then air. John Nevers challenged it with his own back air and he was like, Watch this, mine's stronger. <sighs> and also I'm red. So I'm John automatically better. Wasn't even, he wasn't he was, he even had in deep breathing. He just had rage. Yeah. Oh, uh, you were gone. <laughs> Yikes. That's not how I put, that was the most like anticlimactic ending it to really a set. It really was. After such a, a tense game. It was so close the entire time and then it just ends with a double back air. <laughs> See just lazily drifting to the blast zone. Yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't ask but the all that. This is nice. Yeah, that was good. So using the super wide hitbox of Palutena up air, even if it didn't connect, it set up for a frame trap. That was also nice. Uh, all the kills actually were actually really nice. I'm not gonna hold you. But what is really nice is again seeing a very classic duo. I, I, I'll give y'all a minute to guess who who about to see in a second. Don't look at bracket. You're cheating. All right, three, two, one. It do be VV and Dill. We're gonna see the hero. No, not hero. <laughs> We're gonna see Lucario and the and the Rob matchup. Absolutely, a Xeno Weekly's classic, a staple, really. Yeah, if you got it right, do Matcherino in the chat. If you got it wrong, do Matcherino in the chat. Yeah. Either way, do yeah! Matcherino in the chat. <laughs>